Hi, this is Leonel Morales Diaz. I live in Guatemala. I work at Francisco Marquín University. The title of this session is The Old and the New Axioms of User Interfaces. The subtitle of the session is Unspoken Existence, Crisis, and Implications for Design and Engineering of User Interfaces. An axiom is a self-evident truth that requires no demonstration. Axioms are used in mathematics, physics, logic, and several other fields. Human-computer interaction is no exception. Regarding axioms, in human-computer interaction, we can ask these questions. Are there actions in human-computer interaction? The answer is yes. We can search the literature for actions, and we will find several others that use actions or enunciate actions and use them in different ways. Are there actions for user interfaces? Do we use actions? when we design user interfaces? Again, the answer is yes. The question is, where are they? Who has stated the actions? Part of the answer is that they are implicit, unspoken, unstated. How do we find actions for user interfaces? We need to review, to carefully review the literature regarding user interfaces and after distilling that literature, we will be able to identify the main actions behind that literature. How many actions do we have for user interfaces? We will start with five. We will call them the old actions. And we will also state another five new actions to respond to new trends, new technologies, new ways in which people use technology. Why do we call them old? Are they old? Yes, they are old, but that doesn't mean that they are obsolete or invalid. That means they started being used at the very beginning of the computer era in the middle of the 20th century. So they are not obsolete. They are not discarded. They have not been refuted in the reason we call them old is because we want to stress, to emphasize the idea that they are well-established, they are solid, actually. Of course, in any enunciation of a set of axioms, the task will always be incomplete. We will always need new axioms in order to cover new use cases, new tendencies, new technologies, new trends, new ways of use new um, applications that people make of technology. We say that old axioms are in crisis. They are incapable of covering all new trends, all new use cases, all new ways in which people use technology. And if they don't cover those cases, we need new ones. Let's review this set of old actions of user interfaces. Let's start with the fundamental action. Computers work by performing functions. There's no other way in which we can identify work by computers. Those functions are the connection between human, human needs, and computer work. The second action is the generative action. Computer functions must have activation and delivery mechanisms. This is the generative action because it generates the idea of user interfaces. In order to access the functions, we need to activate that function. And we also need to access the, the deliveries of that function. And those are two different mechanisms, the activation and the delivery mechanisms. We need to find something to activate the function and something to get the results from the computer. The third action is the expansion and reuse action. The number of functions grow at higher rate than mechanisms of activation and delivery. What this means is that computers constantly increment the number of functions available. This implies that we need to expand the user interface and maybe 
reuse elements of the user interface. Then we have the limitation axiom. This refers to human capability that actually imposes a limit in the number of controls and the number of elements of a user interface. And no matter how you accommodate or you reuse or reorganize the different elements of the user interface, you will always be limited by the human capability to understand those functions and to utilize those functions. And beyond that, functions in the computer or elements in the user interface will simply become invisible to the user. In this initial set, we finally have the imitation action. The best UIs get imitated. As humans, we have this tendency to copy the best ideas and they will become the de facto standard for user interfaces. This is the imitation action. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can go and see what others have done for to solve this particular problem, to solve this particular need of a user interface and copy that idea. After initiating the old user interface actions, we will have a discussion. We will see if we agree on this set. Are they a good starting point? We will explore if we consider that these actions are self-evident. We mentioned that actions are self-evident truth. So we need to examine if these actions that we just stated are self-evident. Are there any omission? Of course, there are others. This list is incomplete. These actions are in crisis. What this means is that they are insufficient. They are inadequate for covering new trends, new technologies, new applications, cross-device applications, social computing, distributed computing. These are some examples of the crisis we need new actions. I have a proposal. I will propose five new actions of user interfaces, and I want your help in order to review them, to discuss them, to help me find the right set of new actions of user interfaces. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in this Alkai session at Kai 2024. Thank you so much.